Mean to Me by Taylor Edwards is a song about how one can perceive their own self-image and self-identity. The song is mainly about how one's self-words to themselves can be very harmful and just hurt on a deeper meaning than somebody else's. Um, one lyric from that line is, such a perfectionist, I wish I could just mess up sometimes. We have so much anxiety and so much fear in ourselves that a lot of the times we put pressure on ourselves just to make something seem perfect and how we nitpick every single thing wrong with it because if it's not perfect, then it represents us and how we're not perfect and we go deeper meaning into everything we do that you are under a lot of pressure and it gets overwhelming and sometimes you're just like, I want to be able to mess up. I want to not have to feel to be at a hundred all the time, but you have so much fear that you do want to be at a hundred thousand times rather than be at a hundred some and give yourself a break sometimes because that doesn't happen too easily. Another line would be, um, I wish I saw what everybody sees, but I only see the bad parts of me. As a person, we're used, not used, but we're so used. We're so used to our body and how we act that it's gotten to the point where it's a regular occurrence. So since it is the same thing, then we're looking for every possible thing that's wrong with it. And we're looking for all the bad because we've always seen this. So you're looking for what you can improve. However, to somebody just walking by, they could be like, oh, I really like your eyes. But you wouldn't notice that because you're so used to having your own eyes that they're the same and they could be better and they could be worse and they could be different. But since it's just so normal, it doesn't seem as extraordinary. Um, Another another line that incorporates to that is, I say I'm independent, but give validation from somebody else, living off compliments that I can't get me to give to myself. A lot of the times, because it is just us, compliments to ourselves can sometimes seem as pity. It can be seen as trying to reassure ourselves. It can be seen as everything but an actual compliment. And a compliment from somebody else can be held to such a higher standard, especially if it is somebody you look up to because you're like, oh, if they think I'm doing good, that means I'm doing good. But sometimes if I think I'm doing good, then I could be better. There are things I could improve on. And a lot of the times, my compliments to myself are just, you're good and you can, you can, go, you can go do this and you'll be fine. But a compliment from somebody else, it can also be how you grew up like myself, I didn't grow up in a world where we did give validation and we did give people like bonus points for doing uh, something beyond. It was always pressured on me to go above and beyond from what I can be. So anytime somebody does give me validation, it feels a hundred times better because I feel that I'm okay and I'm, I'm doing what I can and I'm where I'm supposed to be at and I can't give that to myself because I will always feel like I'm a thousand steps behind everybody else. But somebody else telling me that, yeah, I'm doing all right, makes me feel better. Going into that, I'm gonna water this line down a little bit so it's appropriate, but going into that, a different line is, my self-talk makes my friends mad because I never say to them what I'd say to me. It's true, I never tell my friends, hey, um, this is so, so, so terrible. Like, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, no. I would tell my friends, you, I think you did a really good job. However, you, you could do this for this to give it a little extra. But I would always make it seem nice. It would be a compliment. It would be watered down. It wouldn't be, hey, you really need to fix this unless we're not in a good mood. Whereas to myself, I won't put that thought in my head that, hey, I need to be kind. 
it's I really messed up and it needs to be better. And and how I talk to myself as if rather talking to a friend is two totally different personalities. And it's not only because that's how I am, it's a lot of people that that how we talk to ourselves is so much different. And going off of with social media right now, uh, self-image a lot of the times is the only thing we see. We only see our physical appearance because a lot of platforms use, you don't get to see the personality behind that person. You see their face, you see their appearance, They see you see how they dress, their style, and that's what you're judging them on. You're not judging them on uh, their personality. And I like to think that's a lot of what we think of ourselves, except a thousand times worse, because we are the ones looking at our in our mirrors, and we are the ones looking and trying to fix everything we can and trying to alter our own personalities to be better, to be more cheerful, to be more inviting to others. Whereas sometimes it is, we are just being mean to ourselves and sometimes we do need to lighten up on how we talk and how we view ourselves because a lot of the times, because we're so used to our own selves that it is just the bad parts we pick up on. We don't see the good parts because that's not where we focus. We focus on the bad and just crush them even more instead of trying to fix a little bit and and trying to build ourselves up. It's a lot of the time just self-deprecating and, and we're just adding more pressure to the bottom of that of that mess. Thank you.